Hello YouTube! I'm coming to you live because we have a recap of everything happening event-wise in the new update. So I'm gonna quickly go over everything here uh, because this is looking good. So first and foremost, obviously the new update is coming live when the night knocks version 1.4 content preview. That's, that's what it is. It's a content preview. So the art here looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, we see Camellia here with a sword. She looks so pretty. Mwah! Love her. Now, we also can see Lumi over there, but we don't see what kind of weapon she uses. But she's certainly here with a little plush. A plush in combat, I think, is floating next to her and like kind of shooting at the enemies. Very, very cute stuff. So, moving on from that, we can see over here the new main event, Somnium Labyrinth Somnoir Adventure event. In a tumultuous dream, you witness a train derailing, unsealing a gateway to a realm of illusions. A mysterious figure taunts you, foretelling that when the world succumbs to this nightmare, the night will reign eternal. Very, very spooky stuff. Okay, looking forward to it. I really like the... Um, I, I really like the... Everything Somnor related, I think it's very interesting. Uh, I was kind of sad that last patch, well, current patch, we didn't get an update to it, but I mean, it is what it is. Now, new Rezonator, Camellia from the Black Shore is a 5-star Havoc character, which is great because in terms of Havoc characters, first of all, we don't have many. Secondly, the only Havoc 5-star character we have is the protagonist. So this is great that we're getting a premium Havoc 5-star character. Very, very excited about that. We saw earlier she is a sword user. Good stuff. I don't know what she does, but I definitely adore her design in here. Um, the dress is super cute. And we can see here that she can actually grow the, the plants or whatever out of her own skin. So, like, here this bracelet really comes out of her arm. And here, you can see this, like, the flowers actually come out of her chest right there. Right? Uh, so I assume that, like, those things, like, in her hair, is something that she chooses to grow out of her head. Um, so, interesting. Now, in terms of what she could do, I feel like she's a sword user, right? But I could definitely see her using those vines as like a whip or something. Uh, so maybe she's gonna do something like that. I'm not too sure, but I definitely, 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 definitely love her design. She is so pretty. I love the dress. I love like... It's very interesting because I feel like there's this contrast of like her being very flower uh, themed. But also her dress, you can see that it looks like it's on fire, you know? Like the edge of the dress everywhere here looks like it's burning, right? It's not actually burning, but it certainly looks like it, like it's been like gnawed, you know what I mean? And uh, that's interesting because like it, it looks like, you know, it's burning, but coupled with the fact that it's like uh, flower themed, it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, maybe she can place like some some flowers or make them explode or some stuff like that. I could see that happening, I guess. Uh, but I'm very, very curious. Uh, the, yeah, I love the design here. We we, we still... The, the belly button is free, chat. It is free. We did it. Congratulations. Uh, now, moving on to Lumi. So Lumi here, very adorable character. She's uh, meant to resemble a mouse, obviously, with the, the hairdo right there with the light bulbs and the tail that ends into a light bulb as well. I don't know if this is an actual tail or if this is just an aesthetic choice, but either way, I think she looks fantastic. We saw the plushie earlier. Um, and when it comes to the design, um, she seems to be one of those like very fast character, obviously. We saw from the previous dev blog that she has this special mechanic when she dashes, she does like she doesn't evade, she starts running super fast, right? Uh, I really like that. I think she's adorable. She definitely has this look of like going fast. Uh, like she, she seems to have like a racing combination, you know what I mean? And uh, the jacket I absolutely love. It's like a crop top jacket. Um, it's kind of kind of poofy, but ends in like um, the, the sleeve ends small. And then she has like all the little fur here. I think she looks great, actually. I, I really, really like her design. And um, in the past, I actually didn't used to like that. Like the the small and thick high brows. I used to not like that, but now I think it's really endearing. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's really, really cute. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, she has a massive size squish right there. Insane. 
Uh, she looks very cute. Now, she is a four-star Electro. Obviously, she's from Huanglong, as we can see here. Or oh, that's a faction currently, at the very least. Now, in terms of weapon type, we don't really have any good indication here. I feel like with the way she is, and the way she's supposed to be very fast, in my opinion, she's either going to be a gauntlet user or rectifier user, right? Because I don't see her carrying a weapon with her, right? Gauntlet, that would be directly on the fist, uh, so she can just like go super fast and punch, punch, punch. And a rectifier, the rectifier can float next to her. Um, and so, you know, maybe that's what the, the plush that we've seen like floating next to her is. Maybe that's supposed to be a rectifier, right? Uh, but I don't see her using, like, holding a, a sword or a great sword. I guess she could be a pistol user. I, it's true, I haven't thought about it. I guess it, she could be a pistol user, maybe? Like, running super fast and gunning down the enemy? I don't know, so far I've not been a super mega fan of pistol gameplay, to be honest. Uh, but they haven't really released any pistol characters so far, so that could be the opportunity, I suppose. Yeah, we haven't had a single 5-star uh, pistol user. Interesting. Alright, so that's gonna be it for the character design here. Um, I actually really like both. Obviously, I have a preference for Camellia, but if I can, I definitely want to get Lumi uh, as well. Moving on, the upcoming featured Resonator Convene. Obviously, we have Camellia and of Lost Trail. That art is bananas. That is so beautiful. Holy crap. Moving on, we have the Phase 2. In Phase 2, we have a rerun for Yinlin. One Thunder Pours, and surprisingly, we have a rerun for Shangli Yao. That to me is very surprising, obviously, because Shangli Yao is a recent character. I said he's quite popular, he was free as well. So maybe they're like, hey, remember the character that was here for free? Wanna get his weapon, mayhap? Uh, anyway, so those two are here. Um, it's interesting to see that they are already going all out with the double rerun, which I think is not a bad idea. That way people can choose whichever character they potentially missed and get a copy of them. Now, moving on, the Resonator Lumi can be obtained in the Resonator Convene events Went on the Pours and Celestial Revelation. After the event ends, starting from the next version, Resonator Lumi will be permanently available in Standard Weapon and Resonator Convene. Resonator Lumi will be simultaneously made available in the Afterglow Coral Store and will be removed at the end of the next version. So, what I really hate is... Uh, New 4-star characters being on rerun banner. The same thing happened with this current patch where the Gauntlet Eyes uh, small girl was on the rerun of Jian. And here Lumi is going to be on the rerun of Yinlin and Changli Yao. I'm not a fan of that because they're essentially being like, hey, if you want a new 5-star and a new 4-star, you're going to have to pull on both banner. It's really annoying. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of that. It is what it is. Uh, it really sucks because I... The, the Ice Gauntlet Lady, I didn't really care for, to be honest. But Lumi, I think she's so adorable. I really want her. So, I'm gonna get debated. Hopefully, I don't ruin my pity. And, uh, yeah. Now, moving on. New weapons. Red Spring. So, obviously, this is Camellia's signature weapon. It looks great. I really, really like it. Uh, with the way it looks, it looks like she... It was probably a normal weapon that she then grew um, something out of it. Or on top of it, it's it kind of hard to say because it feels like here that's a normal pummel, and then she made oh, the whole thing with like her flower powers. Anyway, it looks great in my opinion. I really want to get it. So the goal is get Camellia, get her weapon, maybe get Lumi if we can, and uh, that's gonna be it. Moving on, Somnor Encore. So we're getting obviously a weapon tied to the main event because the event is Somnor themed. So here we are getting this cute sword with a little pink ribbon and a cat paw. Why not? I think it's funny. I like it. Moving on. Uh, we get the featured weapon convene. Phase 1, obviously, we're getting Red Spring. And Phase 2, we are getting the rerun weapon of Stringmaster and Verity's Handle. Great stuff. The new weapon projection. This is a new feature that is essentially a glamour feature. So essentially, you can use those projection to have them... Uh, to have your other weapon get the appearance of whatever you project onto them. So here, if you unlock the Somnor Anchor projection, you can make any sword weapon look like this one. This is just some, um, you know, it's just some cosmetic stuff. That can be very nice. I really hope that we get um, a projection of all the weapons we've acquired so far. 
and not just like new stuff we have to unlock eventually. I feel like if it's not in the update right away, it's probably going to be something that they slowly add over time. Because I would love to be able to, you know, if I have the Stream Master, I get the Stream Master projection and I can apply it on every weapon I have if I want to. I think that would be cool. So you can start, you know, uh, customizing your drip. Now, moving on, we're also getting the Projection Formula series, which essentially makes your weapon either fully transparent in the case of Rectifier and Gauntlet, or semi-transparent in the case of Sword, Broadsword, and Gun. So this is if you want to seem like you are um, wielding an invisible weapon, you can do that. Now, we're also getting a new companion story that is tied with Camellia. I actually haven't done Encores 1 yet, uh, I gotta do that, and then uh, I'm very, very excited about this personally. So, the forking path among the stars. Yeah, I'm gonna fork her, that's for sure. The flowers in the Black Shore's greenhouse sway silently. Camilla stands among them, sharing the silence. The sea of stars holds infinite timeline that intertwine and diverge at each moment. Though there are millions of possibilities, she knows all paths leads to the same destiny. Very interesting. Uh, and now here we have the recap of all the new events that's going to be happening. We are getting a Gift of Twilling Dreams, which is a 7-day login event that's probably going to give us like 10 pulls as usual. We're getting an update for the Death of Elusive Realm called Phantasm a Mass, which is fantastic because I love the Elusive Realm. I was pretty sad we didn't get an update this patch. Beyond the Waves, a featured exploration event. So we are getting both the Planner Association. This is going to be the diary one that you get in your inventory. Where you have to do some task every day to get a bunch of reward. And a Lolo campaign, which is the classic. You get one quest per day. And you get some tokens you can use in a gacha pond to get the rewards. So moving on, we are getting some combat events with Tactical Simulacra 2. As well as Pincer Maneuver Warrior, which is a recurring combat event. And on top of that, we are also getting in the middle here, Raguna Sales Blitz. It's a Pioneer Association event. And this seems to... See, we can see here Geography uh, and other things. So I wonder if this is going to be a thing like we have to take photos uh, or we have to like kill some monsters or grab some... gather some resources and go sell them, sell them, maybe get some daily rewards. Probably something like that. Uh, so this is cool. They're really giving us a lot of events to make sure. They were like, oh, you guys you, you guys play because you feel like you don't have enough resources to level up your characters. Bet, let's make it happen. And I think this is great. Finally, we have a new Echo. The Phantom Inferno Rider is joining the Phantom Squad. This is a cosmetic that you can apply selectively on your Inferno Rider if you so wish. And it looks pretty good. So we'll be able to get that most likely from the... Uh, Deaths of Elysium Realm. And I believe that is all. Stay tuned for more. We shall stay tuned indeed. So, overall, very exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to getting Camellia, her weapon, hopefully, and play a companion story. That's the most exciting stuff to me, as well as the update for the Elysium Realm. The main event has me quite curious as well. I'm looking forward to it as well. Let me know what you guys are excited for. Uh, in the comment below, like, subscribe, all that good good, and don't forget you can catch me live every day at twitch.tv forward slash kittycassie. See you soon.